guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot, and I'm here today just to bring you a random quick message that I keep feeling um, guided to bring, but I'm outside in the garden, that's kind of where I felt called to be. So also, I left my pants in the background, sorry, they're hanging, but they're also representative of wolf spirit, so that could be very important for you right now. Um, before I get into cards, I also do just want to say, like, I was picking up, like, messages that it's really important right now to remain in the present, because these times are changing, and... For some of you, I also feel like you may have been really sensitive to the last full moon, which is about the 17th, 18th. You know, I noticed definitely, I feel like I've definitely felt the pull. And what I'm thinking is, like, there's huge energy shifts going on right now. There was um, a real importance, I feel like, for the things that were cleared and, you know, the downloads and understandings that came up. I feel like it was very important, and now it's the time to implement it. So spirits like staying in the present, that's what we need to do right now because there's been no time like this before. It is the time to like, um, okay, the words I'm hearing are like they're going to write history books about this stuff, right? So um, this is where, what I also heard is like, there's something about like, what I heard is like, we're letting, we were letting go of a lot of the unhealed parts of ourselves, okay? And that, I'm sorry if you hear someone's car alarm. Um, but it was, it's just spirits like right now going forward to stay in the present, okay? So I'm going to take a moment to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, my team of light, and if my spirit guides or your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective, I ask them to join us, to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself, this reading, and any of you who would ask for it, as well as to use me as the clearest channel possible, delivering messages for the most far-reaching, but again, only for the highest messages of all of ourselves and our souls. So... I also want to introduce the Garbage Pail Tarot, Garbage Kale Pale Kids Tarot. Um, so what we have in here was the Emperor under here, in reverse, the Devil in reverse, is this is the bottom, the Sun in the reverse, I'm going to flip it over, and we have the Tower in the reverse at the top. So I believe I have it upside down, but I feel like this is really no longer being tied to vices, no longer allowing our fears to hold us back. For some of you, this could have been like insecurities. For some of you, this is like, um, what I heard is like other people's opinions. There could be so much stuff that's being, um, what I heard is like erased, eradicated, changed, but it's from bloodlines, future, they're like future generations will thank you for the work that is being done in the now, right? So, I'm also being guided to share with you guys morning glories because huh, this guy keeps trying to show up. He's not in the camera site, but he keeps like going on my phone and it's kind of driving me nuts. But they are very resilient as well. Okay, so I also, before I get started, I've been asked to bring in, this is like the maiden voyage of both of these decks, the Sword of Light Oracle, and it's the Archangel Michael Sword of Light. I just opened to number 33. This is a blessing in disguise with 34, trust in the divine process. Be patient and have faith that your angels have the situation under control. What will come is far better than what you dared to dream. And trust in the divine purpose. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. I got a message that, well, I knew I don't have a whole lot of time here. So I'm going to have a low battery. I'm going to make it quick. But these cards are important okay it's like if there's something that is ailing you give it i hear give it to god okay if there's something that is troubling you give it to spirit um if it is out of your control hand it over my friends your team of angels and your spirit guides pay attention to like special nudges that's what they're saying have have a bath after that that moon it may be really important for a salt bath and be very intentional. Ask for spirit to help you know remove anything that is stagnant and ready to go, any energy that's been holding you back or keeping you hostage, or just if you're feeling it in your body, I'm heard, I heard like it's time to release the heaviness. <laughs> and when you do, as we're releasing this heaviness, we have welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on the way to you. Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. He's throwing money at you, my friends. And underneath that, we have regain your focus. This is the type, the cover, and this is what drew me in to this. It says, trivial matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I help are here to help you stay grounded, which I think is absolutely beautiful because, you know, we called it angel, 
Archangel Michael and Metatron, and it's nice that they both showed up. So under that is Embrace Your Life Purpose, number 12. I'm guiding you towards your divine life purpose. Whatever your heart, whatever makes your heart joyful is what you're meant to be doing. And what I heard with this is like regain your focus. For some of you, it may be actively doing things that create joy in your world or actively doing things that make your body feel better, your heart feel better, your mind feel better. Number one, all is in perfect timing. This is it. Take the it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way. So before the battery decides to die completely, let's get a message from the Garbage Pail Kids Tarot. as a little tarot wisdom moving forward in your situations. Or like have that spiritual path. It's important. Also, I just want to show you the back. Like the artwork on these are amazing. I have the Emperor in reverse again interesting as I stopped. I'm going to read that to you. I love this. this. is the justice card, I believe. But, oh man. Okay, so we have, that is the emperor in reverse. I love too that the hermit is sappy Sarah. Like, this was meant to be my friends. It's supposed to be mine. Okay, in reversed. This card, in the inverse, this card shows that you are feeling burdened and trapped by your responsibilities. Though you're eager for change, don't detonate everything you've worked so hard to create just yet. This may be a passing feeling. Plan a vacation to take a break from your routines and duties. A break will have you feeling rested and ready to resume your rule. Absolutely, my friends. All is in perfect timing. Give it to God, hand it over spirit, have a rest, because what I heard is like in the interim and before, in this moment, before like that slingshot, oh, sorry. <laughs> a leaf got me, <laughs> but that slingshot takes back, thought it was something crawling in my foot, and you are propelled forward, they're like enjoy this rest, take this time, because whatever it is again that has you feeling ailed or trapped, it's time that we're going to take active conscious roles in our own worlds and creating changes right and that's always why I, I like the grassroots evolution is it's where what we have where we start how we move forward right it's about creating change in your world on day-to-day -day things that we can do in our own day-to-day -day lives right and what I heard is also this is going to be all in perfect timing learning from our past mistakes and they have under here um, Embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be filled. And what I also heard is allow yourself to be human, okay? For some of you, I also heard, like, the need for perfectionism or, you know, holding yourself to such high standards that you forget that you are human and that, you know, we are here. I'm not going to fucking sorry my mouth, but... The Emperor flew out in the upright this time when I said that. The Nine of Swords, when you let go of the when you let go of the nightmare that has you clogged up, and they have three of hearts here when there's joy. It had a two of cups as well, so this could be within romantic relationships, but also two of wands was under there with the six of swords, a lot of new understandings. The ace of cups, I love this page of cups. And the Six of Coins is under here as well, like bringing back balance after something that could have been like potentially, it's been a hard time, right? So I want to read to you what the Emperor says before I let you go, because I think this is pretty well it. It opens me up to Sabi Sarah. Hilarious. The Emperor. The Emperor represents a powerful patriarch, much like an atom bomb, as he sits on his throne with a mushroom cloud for a crown. He is just as capable of causing calamity as he is of creating peace. This card advises you to take your responsibilities seriously and to think through decisions carefully. Rash decisions can have explosive consequences. And this is where it's like, yeah, taking those times, that that is where to, to enjoy rest and to clear up, you know, whatever has trapped you or ailed you. It will help you in the next, into the, move, the next move, right? So... I want to show you this. The devil's here with the seven of cups. I do feel like this is talking about like fear, seven of cup choices, six of cups, reunion, happiness. There's, there definitely could be time where it's like, this is about confusion and clearing up those, those energies because when it's time to move forward, spirits, like you're going to have a clear plan. You're going to know what to do. Your heart's going to have a clear pull, but if you're overburdened with things going on around you and external forces, it's going to be incredibly difficult to hone in and 
I heard narrowing on that that voice internally. Okay, so I love you all. The I have four of wands was under here too. Beautiful energy. So there's there will be celebrations. There will be happiness for some of you. Marriage. This is wishes fulfilled, but fruitfulness and that you're finally seeing what you've worked so hard come into fruition. There's no longer a feeling of waiting. There it will come. So this is hold your faith, my friends. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.